hi guys so today's video is going to be my story time video of when i got hit by a motorcycle when i almost basically died so i've seen this type of video on youtube a lot like i've seen story times so much so i just decided to do a story time to tell you guys what happened that day by my accident and all that type of stuff and because one time one of you guys requested this video so now i'm filming it so this all happened on july 30th when i was going home from work since i worked in the summer since i had a summer job so i was crossing the street and then i got hit so thank god the ambulance was right there so my friends didn't need to call the ambulance so then i'm on the ambulance like i was like knocked out honestly in the ambulance i woke up there like i remember the guy was talking to me i can't remember what he said but there were guys in the ambulance there i honestly don't remember i woke up again and it was when i was in the er they were like you know checking me if you guys watch Ray's anatomy you know how it's like in the er and all that type of stuff and sadly they ripped off all my clothes they ripped off my victoria's secret bra my sister got me that bra was 50 dollars like that was so much money and then they ripped it off like they cut it through the middle or something i remember i don't know how they cut it like i just remember waking up and i only had my panties and they put like that johnny on me like you know those things that you wear when you're in the hospital like getting a physical or whatever so they put that on me and yeah i only had that my panties that's the only thing that survived from them and they got my shoes my mom saw them so she took them and i had just bought in those shoes so i only wore them that day that's it so yeah um, I was really sad that they broke my bra, but at least I'm alive, which is better than a bra. But still, that bra was expensive. But yeah, I remember waking up in the ER, and then they changed me to another room, which is like intensive care and that type of stuff. And the nurses were surprised that I was still alive, and because they said like, like I could have died from that because I flew 20 feet in the air. That's what they said in the report. So my injuries were that i had my fractured pelvis in like right here in the top part in my left side and like kind of right here but i was crossing the street this way so my leg on the right side got hit as well so yeah i had a fractured pelvis fractured wrist i had a cast on for like a long time that was a long, i can't remember how long but it was like really long time for me they took it off like let me see I had two, two different casts because they took it off and then they put a new one. So I got that cast July 30th and then they took it off like late September, which was crazy. So yeah, my nose was like messed up. It was fractured. They said I needed to get surgery with it. So that's why I couldn't eat for two days. But thank God I didn't need it later on at the end. So they said I didn't need that surgery. But while I was there, they took me to bring on my woman's. So they're like, they did x-rays on me they did so much stuff and it was like so hard when they changed me from bed to bed or like to different stuff because this hurt so much like even going to the side i couldn't move myself they had to help me like i don't know why they moved me to the side i think like to change the bed sheets or something like whenever they had to move me, i'm like oh my god it hurt a lot and it was like really hard for me to move and all that type of stuff well i don't know like i couldn't move like only this arm I, don't know, I was just like really still and stuff i had to sleep like on my back and stuff it was hard and i also got seven staples on my head if you guys like i don't know if you can see it now but like some like there's this part in front now of my hair where there's no hair there right now anymore because that's where i got my seven staples on which sucks when you get staples or stitches and you don't have hair there no more so now it's another place where i don't have hair on my head yeah, the nurses thought they were like oh you're so healthy blah 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 like i'm not healthy i barely eat any healthy food like i eat healthy like whole food stuff but i mainly eat like food from shopping shop and stuff that isn't so healthy and i just thank god honestly that i'm alive like god saved me there because if it wasn't for god i literally could have died there that day so god was the one that saved me like I, people i don't know why they would go and blame god for this when it wasn't his fault so as i was saying as well that it was hard for me to move honestly like it was really hard 
like when I was when they were trying to put me to walk over there in Brigham, I couldn't. It was hard. Like I had to walk with the walker, like what old people use and stuff. Then when I got to Spalding to get therapy there, I was in Spalding from August second to the uh, to the twenty first of August, and there I. I pooped there. I didn't poop at Brigham. So I'm sorry talking about poop, but like when you're in a hospital, like and you're there, they always ask you when you poop because somehow that's important. I don't know. They're like, I'm sorry, this is weird, but did you poop today? And they're always asking me that. So yeah, there I ended up pooping. But thank God, there God helps me with my therapy. At first, it was hard, like working out with my legs when I got physical therapy. That was hard, but then later on, I saw the improvements, and then I could do something that I couldn't do before. Like, I don't know, it's hard. When you could do something, and then you can't do it, that's hard. Because when I was there, like, I could walk fine. I had to use a walker, like what older people use. Like, well, I guess everyone can use it. Before, like, before I used to think that, oh, that's only for old people, but everyone uses it, can use a walker. But yeah, when I was there, like, you know, I had my walker, but then when I went on my bed, it was hard for me to lift up my legs. I couldn't do it. Um, I'm thinking about my mom and dad and sister and brother, you know, came over all the time. I don't live with my dad, but he stayed with me at the hospital since my mom couldn't because she had to take care of my brother and stuff. So, thank, thanks for my dad, even though he's kind of annoying, but I'm glad he stayed with me. So yeah, he helped me, like, put my legs up on my bed and stuff. Cause it was hard for me or, or like I would try to lift it up it was hard you know it was just hard to do all this stuff but thank god you know with all this therapy and god's help I'm back and um able to do stuff I could do again I have my crutches under my bed so I had to use crutches for a while and stuff like even if there's nothing wrong with me like you can't see anything on the outside I bet people would buy like why did you use your crutches she's fine but like no it's inside of me that I'm not good. So like this girl in school was like, why are you using crutches? Something is wrong with you. Like something is wrong with me. It's my pelvis. I couldn't just walk like that like normal. It was kind of hard at first, like in school, the first days going up all those stairs and stuff. But like then I got an elevator key. So that, w that really helped out. So yeah. So even though I got some scars like on my hands, I never had this stuff on my hand before and some stuff on my face like I never had before. I'm just thankful that I'm just still alive and all that. Even if I don't like these scars, it just reminds me of the time that I got hit by the motorcycle. Oh, and also forgot to mention that my face, it like was all like swelled up like this got bigger but then it all went down because like the swelling like you get like is this it lasts a few days so i just got everything went down and it's not normal but like you know it's back to how it used to be but yeah basically everything i have to say about my accident i can't think about anything else right now so yeah that's basically it if you guys enjoy this video like if you guys enjoy my story time is a video and if you want me to do more story times please give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below because it's totally free and also you can get notified every single time that i film so why wouldn't you want to get notified when i film just saying so yeah god bless you bye